right hello everyone no grand trips anywhere today unfortunately or this weekend i've had a lot on been doing a bit of um pottering about on the car ready for its mot and um if you've seen the thumbnail i'm putting the um putting my camper van up for sale the advert is live now i've got someone coming to view it tomorrow i've had loads of interest from other people already it was um put on facebook marketplace and uh <laughs> the amount of messages i got was uh incredible but i've got the first view in tomorrow so we'll see what happens there reason for selling it i'm uh, moving on to something else if all goes to plan i shall um do a video all about that anyway it's evening time now it's saturday it's in the evening sun's going down and i'm out doing some more steps i've already done my 10,000 steps i'm on nearly 20,000, but i am doing a a walk a virtual walk from land's end to john o'groats and i've been on it for a couple of weeks now and i'm just nearly on the 100 mile mark so i want to get myself up to the 100 mile mark by the end of today that's the plan so i've come out to walk off my dinner and make some more progress on that virtual walk You know, someone at work the other day called me morbid because of the amount of time uh, I spend in churches and graveyards. Now, is it, is it, would you consider that as a person being morbid or just admiring it and feeling at peace? I don't know. I, I've tried a million times to explain to you guys why I do what I do. And uh, of course, a lot of it is to do with the architecture. But even sometimes just being in a cemetery where I am now, I, you know, you could say, yeah, you are a morbid git, but I don't know. There's something peaceful in being in this entire surrounding, you know? Yeah, it's peaceful and it, and it makes you think as well, I think. I, you know, it, I'm trying to to be a better person and, and live for the moment and um, make the most of the time that I've got left. And I think being around all these gravestones makes you think that, you know, because every single person in here has had their life and had a story to tell and it was, I'm, every single one of them would have had their lives caught short and they could have done a lot more. So for me, that just makes me think, approaching 50 really quickly, just makes me think I'm gonna to have to push myself to do things that I've never done in the past and live my life instead of just hiding on the sofa watching TV like I used to you know I want to I want to be more you know I want to do more push myself get myself out of that comfort zone that I've, I've been in for for so many years you know so I think that's it isn't it I think it just come you, you come to a place like this have a walk around and just do a bit of reflection you know but that's just me everybody's got a different opinion on life and like i say because i spend so much time on my own i have to keep my head working you know i have to keep myself occupied otherwise i do i go stir crazy and doing something like this helps let me know if you agree let me know if you're you know in the same frame of mind of what I what I am you know be interesting to know your thoughts on that